Hi, Sheena Douglas here again. This time looking at the essential set of the gorgeous aqua tints. And as you can see here, what we're looking at is um, there's a set really got no colour in it, but it has got the most amazing special effect and additional paints that you're going to want to want to add to your range. Now in the set you're going to get a silver, which is the most one of the most reflective non um, solvent based paints I have used because these are all water water based of course and a gold again the reflection's amazing a white and uh, sorry two whites and two blacks because you're going to use those quite a bit for changing the qualities of your other sets and by that I'm going to show you what I mean so what we're going to do is we're going to take one colour from another set um, for example the, the um, one of the reds in the primary set and I'm going to show you how we can transform that so I'm going to just make a little bit of room and then I'll see you in a sec so the first thing to do when you're mixing I like to start with the pure colour so you can see what it's looking like now this is a number 12 from the primary set and I don't need much I'm just using a clean flat brush and I'm just going to start with my reference point so this is what number 12 looks like just as it is okay really nice colour lovely jobs are good right so now what I want to do is I am going to make sure your brush is clean especially if you're going to pop a little bit of white or whatever into the mix which is what I'm going to do now now the white um the white the silver and the gold you'll find are thicker than your other paints. They're a different formula, they're more like an acrylic formula. So rather than use your pipette, I like to just dip the brush in and just take a little bit out. Oh, you know what I said about a clean brush? Yeah, see it's got it, that's actually got a touch of colour in there, but that's okay because we can I can get rid of that stuff again. If you find that, really do, don't want to contaminate your white. Maybe just keep one clean brush just for white. That's what I would do. You're going to get nine brushes, well, sorry, three brushes but for each set. So it is worth just keeping one purely for um, your white paint. Right, pop some white there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same paint that I've just used and we'll put a couple of drops into that. And you probably guess what's going to happen. So we're going to get a pastel version, a tint of what the original colour was. But look, it's changed the quality a little bit. It looks more creamy. It looks a little bit more like a chalky kind of paint. Um, it's made it more opaque, right, kind of like a, a liquid gouache paint, because that's what water um, gouache is. It's a watercolour with white in it. And it makes it, um, the coverage is better, because where you've got white pigment, oh, just splash that from my jaw, thank you. Um, where you've got white it will um, it's an opaque pigment so it's gonna not be as translucent as your paints without the white so same thing again let's do another one of those let's this time see what the black does and one two three four five oh, well six and then we'll maybe just put one drop of black in when you're working with the black um, always use the smallest amount first right black Whoa, a nice colour. So what you're going to do, this is going to create a shade and it's going to make it more of a distressed colour. Now, when we say about how versatile aquatins are and how value for money, because you're getting a lot in these jars, but look at, you've got a limitless palette. You've got a ridiculous number of bespoke original colours. I would use any one of these three colours any day of the week. From that to that with a touch of black, now you've got distressed kind of, um, you know, muted kind of palette and shades and colours. So you could stamp with that colour, blend it out, look fantastic. You could apply it with your cut and dry form with a touch of glycerin to your background. If all of these things are thinking, what, hello? Look out for the other Aquatins videos. Um, so let's do some more. Let's wipe that up. Let's take a little touch of the silver onto my brush now before you use these ones you need to give them a really good shake now i've got far too much i'm taking a lot of that away can hopefully can get that on the camera hopefully can you see how small that amount is really really be really kind of sparing with these paints the metallics especially because they're a thicker formula you'll find that you need the smallest amount for that mica to go a long way Six. I'm even diluting it with six of the paint of the paint there because there's still loads and loads. Woo! Hold the phone. We have our own 
gorgeous makeup in here. But look at how intense that, that makeup is. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to add water to show you how much makeup is in there. I'm watering it down. Still watering it down. Still watering it down. All that still got all the bling in it. When we when we wet when we um this is dry, we'll get the camera on it. You'll see this has still got tons of bling in it. Use it sparingly when you want to create a mica paint. You'll be amazed at how little you need. We're going to do the same with the gold. Let's take a touch of that. Right again. Now that's still still probably too much. And then. Do the same thing. One, two, three, five. I'm going to add six again because really that's more than I need for this little square I'm doing. But I've put two, I've put loads of gold out. Ooh, I like this one. Thinking Christmas. Oh, oh I might have to name this a Sheena name. Oh, wow. Okay, remember that one. Tiny little touch of the gold to number 12 from the primary. It is a winner. Wow. Love that. It's kind of like a really warm, rich, deep coral. I'm going to pop that out of the way. I'm going to try and dry this really quickly and then I'm going to let you see what they look like. That's just, with your essentials, boosting your other set. Um, I'll see you in a sec. So there you have the colours dried. And hopefully you can see those gorgeous metallics at the bottom. Absolutely stunning. I'm getting that little shine there. Got a nod. So the next thing is the um, the resist technique. So what I've done is I have stamped an image here using the gold um, paint from the essential set, and I've dried it. Now it could be dried a little bit more, but what what you're going to be able to do is a, a sort of resist. So it's not going to be um, you know really robust, but you're going to be able to go over it. Um, quite a bit without it, you know, um, picking up the gold. So if you see, I'm just going to go over that same colour we've been using, go over the area, and then hopefully you should see we will have a really nice gold still showing through there. See where it's resisted the, the paint? Yep, so kind of look like a, a gold batiki type thing. So that's something else to play with. Um, so keep looking out for more videos. I uh, thank you. That has been um, Essentials. And we'll see you for another, another tutorial using the amazing, gorgeous new Aquatints.